My name is Louis Polero, and uh, I have the weakness of uh, rescuing animals. Now, the genesis of Pet Commando basically was with other people. I had done a rescue of a cat, had decided that I was going to videotape it. I always regretted not documenting Yoshi, who is in my equipment van here, because when I found her over five years ago, it was a pretty exciting story. And there's a backstory to almost every animal that's rescued. And that's what a lot of people like to hear about. They like to hear about the backstory. I mean, where did the, cat, the dog or the cat come from? Wouldn't you like to help a cat like that? Yes. Wish the kitty luck, okay? Good luck, Good kitty. kitty! Aloha! Lewis and I share a common passion, and that is for the safety and welfare of abandoned and abused pets. And he decided to go into production on this endeavor. I just knew I had to be a part of it. Carrying his luggage or his equipment or writing music for the show or well, we didn't know what we were going to encounter when we went into the home there's another dog oh. inside <laughs> bad the smell oh that can be deep breath oh, more dogs oh, oh my god oh my god that was a pretty traumatic thing seeing so many animals being neglected and suffering in one location surrounded by a neighborhood full of people and it seems that only a few people cared enough to step in and feed these animals and have the courage to contact somebody. First time I met Lewis, he was bringing Yoshi to get groomed and one day he spoke to me about a cat that he rescued which was Cleo from episode one. He told me I could check it out on YouTube so I went home and watched it that night and was pretty compelled by what I saw him do with that. Hi Judy. Here we go. Uh, you're gonna go to the bed and I'm gonna fix you up. She's very, very happy where she's at, and Yoshi's happy for her too. With Yoshi, I found her at a gas station, but that's as far back as her backstory goes because I, I don't know where she came from. Uh, I don't know who the owners were. I don't know if she got out of somebody's car. Those are questions I'm always gonna have about Yoshi. I love my animals, and I love all animals, and I have a soft spot in my heart for animals in need. I rescued uh, Cleo. I had to do something, but I thought, all right, I'm going to videotape this. So that's how uh, it started, it, and it started snowballing from there. Somebody contacted me strictly because they saw me rescuing Cleo and asked me to come and investigate a problem with some dogs that were abandoned in a house in their neighborhood. And that's where the next show came from. Later, he called saying that he found this dog in bad shape in episode two. Man, we got here just in time. And asked if I would be willing to groom it on a volunteer basis, which I did. Uh, a little bit reluctantly because he said it was going to be filmed. We decided, hey, we could probably save a lot of animals, get a lot of people to become their own little pet commando, encourage people to go out there and try and rescue uh, animals that are in really bad situations. Yeah, and then I rescued two Shih Tzus, but they're in good shape, so I have to bring them in. The word been... is Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. She, uh, she's ignoring me. This is a part of the hazards of bringing dogs into the house, especially Shih Tzus. And when I went there, uh, and saw the dog in the shape that it was in. And as I got to working on it, I just, you know, I wanted to be a part of anything in the future that I could help with to try to further the project along. I decided any animal that I was gonna rescue, I would find a home for it. Until I found Yoshi. I guess we just fell in love with each other. She was just the perfect animal. And then when we found the little Shih Tzu in the back bedroom that could barely lift its head, I really didn't think that dog had much of a chance, I really didn't. But through the love and the miracle that is Pet Commando, that dog was not only saved, but now is living a happy, healthy, fulfilling life. It's an ongoing disaster because uh, people are constantly losing their homes, uh, getting animals they don't want to take care of, that they just end up abusing. It's. Uh, that's where the Pet Commando project comes in. Uh, Louis Polero, he didn't ask me to get further involved. I just wanted to as a result of what he had done. If, if people are so wrapped up and so consumed with being entertained by Hollywood or getting a new iPod or spending their money on some frivolous 
technological gadget that they really don't need when they could take five bucks and donate it towards, you know, helping animals, then I just, I find that pathetic. I really do. Pet Commando is all about inspiration, just, you know, going all the way around. And hopefully we inspire a few people, a few good people out there to form their own pet commando groups and go out and rescue animals. I mean, I mean, look at Yoshi. No telling what would have happened to her if I wouldn't have gotten her. She had so many fleas on her, you could see them from 10 feet away. I think it's really good for people to see caring people. A lot of times we get cynical and we believe everybody is uncaring. But when you can actually see visual evidence of people who do care, then you can, you can catch that. You, know, you can catch onto that wave and ride it. And that's what I'm hoping that we're going to accomplish with Pet Commander. In just the three episodes that we've done, we've managed to uh, rescue 16 dogs and cats and found homes for all of them. So that, and that in itself is quite amazing. And with, uh, with your uh, generous donations, uh, it will allow us to continue on and do other episodes, get more people involved, and rescue more neglected and abused animals. Pet Commando. He's Pet Commando.